Hi guys, it's March 11, 2018. I lithium is more dangerous than I thought. So I'm going to be um, telling you what I just learned. But I want to start with this video that I posted when uh, about a month ago. We are being sprayed with lithium. And in this video, I showed that uh, NASA on the NASA site said that lithium turns into a pinkish red color and there it is. Now that black it may not be carbon dust. What I learned was the lithium metal reacts to oxygen and, and water in the air. When it hits moist air it corrodes and the lithium turns into a silvery gray then dark gray then a black tarnish so um, this video that I posted a couple of I don't know days ago I was always wondering and even in Great Barrington I saw this these this silvery gray the cloud would turn silvery gray and then get a dark gray and I could never find any uh, paper or anything on it. What was it? What was making this happen? That I would see happen right before my very eyes. Could it be lithium? Yes, it could be lithium. They can put payloads in these this cloud structure that they manufacture. But that's the blue, the, the, the silvery gray color. And then the dark gray. And then the black. If you observe your clouds on a day when you see some gray, look at a cloud for a while. And you may see that cloud turn from white to gray to black or parts of the cloud. We are on such toxic overload, guys, that now it's really taking a toll based on the comments that I'm getting from an awful lot of people. I do want to say it's really fascinating to watch a video go quote unquote viral. What does that mean? Does that mean millions of views? It does it mean 92,000? I don't know. But the more views I got on this video, the more the trolls came out in force. Unbelievable to watch this. And, you know, when you're thinking about this, all right, um, if you're just a crazy nut job conspiracy theorist, why, why then would that crazy nut job conspiracy theorist get attacked with a force of trolls coming at it. And if it's not those seventh grade insults, then it is the, the, the people who say, I'm a physicist, I know. Or I work for NASA. Or I'm an engineer. Listen to me, I know. And then they make their arguments. It, a video like this, posted by an ordinary human being who's done the research. It's fascinating that you get all of these professionals who are <laughs> leaving their arguments to say it's not what you are saying it is. They wouldn't even bother. They would not take any time. But how is it that the world could have millions of crazy nut jobs? If, if people are crazy nut jobs, then you would think there would only be a few. But we do have millions all over the world who know what's happening. Here in this country, let's say we have 100,000 who are uh, hip to what is taking place. Is it really possible that we have 100,000 crazy nut jobs? No, it's not. And if this 
if people are posting completely false information, then there would be no reason to attack it. You attack when you have an agenda. And if this video is not all truth, you have to attack it even if there's elements of truth. And that's why we get hit with so many trolls. Um, but underneath this video, a link was left to an article which, well, let me first go to this video that I posted um, in January. Lithium and tap water. It was the article was published by BBC. Lithium and tap water may cut dementia. So they were advocating for putting lithium in the tap water in the UK and coming out with all of this propaganda. Now, people don't know that every institution has been corrupted. Every institution has been taken over by people who lie, by people who have an agenda scientists, um, those who are publishing in journals, journals, scientific journals, they have been taken over. The editors have been taken over. So they are publishing studies that are either completely fraudulent or they're just filled with so many inaccuracies that it is just stunning to see that, wow, a journal would publish something like this. All right, well, when people don't know that, they then think that these people, they're the experts, they know. And wow, they, they did a study and it got published in a journal. That means it's the truth. No, no. But I thought that this was new that this was going to be a new thing. Oh, now they want to put lithium in the tap water. They don't want to just spray it all over us. And by the way, I really did get from the comments underneath this video that lithium, people are seeing it pretty regularly now where they live in this country and in other Western nations. We are getting so bombarded with dangerous metals and chemicals bombarded with pesticides and herbicides. Our food supply has been thoroughly taken over by genetically modified organisms. And sorry, you know, the only thing that can be called organic now is food produced in a greenhouse with uh, controlled air. That's it. But when you think about Fukushima and you think about the radiation leaking from so many nuclear power plants and you think about the poisons in our water, um, and all of this has just been increasing, steadily increasing for decades. So it's no surprise to me that I'm hearing from so many of you that you have so many symptoms You've been diagnosed with so many different um, uh, diseases or syndromes, and you can't get rid of how you are feeling. When they are assaulting us every which way, the air, the water, the food, with so many chemicals and metals and biologicals, that they are spraying upon us, that we are eating, that we are drinking. And frankly, you know, the water that we're buying, I don't even have uh, real confidence in that. So there's a reason why they have saturated us in a poisonous environment with so many different poisons and so many different uh, dangers. Think about the microwave frequencies. Because how is it that you could possibly cure something if you don't even know what the source is? I was having a conversation with a friend today and she's convinced I have Lyme. Now, back in Great Barrington, I was going 
to specialists. I was going to this doctor. I was being tested for this and yada, yada, yada. And why is it that they can't seem to diagnose Lyme? Why is it that there's no lab in the Northeast that actually can accurately diagnose Lyme? You get these false positives all the time. Why is it that that is so difficult when I found out that there's a lab in California that has been able to diagnose Lyme with a 97% accuracy rate? So what's going on? But I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and other things, but she said she's convinced fibromyalgia is Lyme. Now, we don't really hear much about Lyme. There is an epidemic of people with Lyme disease. And I think she might be right. Where the hell does fibromyalgia come from? Now, I, I, I vaguely remember my doctor saying stress. Really? Well, the, the medications that I was on, you know, I learned that all of the symptoms that I was experiencing may very well have been uh, or were the adverse effects of those medications, but did the medications bring on this fibromyalgia or did I have Lyme? I, the doctors were useless in, in diagnosing that, so they hit you with fibromyalgia and maybe people are having Lyme because, because so many of the symptoms that we're all experiencing while our manifesting, we manifest differing symptoms, but so many have the same symptoms. And if you really look into it, the medications, the microwave frequencies, the pesticides, the GMO foods, the lithium, the heavy metal toxicity, They all have very similar, if not identical, symptoms. But when you have a population that has become so sick, that sickness and illness and medical problems, disease, illness, syndromes, uh, exponentially increasing, and you have so many different people uh, or uh, people manifesting so many different symptoms and the causes are so varied well how do you cure anything if you can't point to the problem and that was deliberate um, okay so the lithium this 2017 I was the link below the lithium video that somebody passed along to me was to this article 2014 should we all take a bit of lithium yes the New York Times uh, Anna Fells it, you read this and this is propaganda for putting lithium in our tap water because there are so many beneficial results read the first paragraph the idea of putting a mind-altering drug in the drinking water is the stuff of sci-fi, terrorist plots, and totalitarian governments. Considering the outcry that occurred when putting fluoride in the water was first proposed, one can only imagine the fear that would ensue if such a thing were ever suggested. And the inference in that is there was such an outcry about fluoride putting, putting that in the water. Well. It turned out that fluoride is good for us, and it's not, and we know it. Yeah, fluoride, it prevents tooth decay. No, it promotes tooth decay. Fluoride. Harvard, that prestigious institution, came out and said fluoride lowers IQ. But the entire article is all about, hey, it would be great. Studies say lithium benefit. But here, Mother Nature has already put a psychotropic drug in the drinking water, and that drug is lithium. Completely false. A false statement. What does it do? It decreases suicide rates significantly and may even promote brain health and improved mood. Wow. 
Where did you get that information from? Studies. And one of those studies, well, it was coming from 27 Texas counties in 1978 and 1987. Yep, you were used as unwitting, unconsenting guinea pigs in their study. Put lithium in drinking water supplies, and wow, the results suggest that lithium has moderating effects on suicide and violent criminal behavior. Now, you don't need to know how these studies are conducted. You just need to use common sense. All right. 27 counties I means an awful lot of people. And how could they possibly come up with that result? Even by saying it suggests that lithium has moderating effects. How? How, how is that even possible? Because they would have to control a myriad a myriad factors. They would have to control so many factors and they would have to look into every individual, look into the circumstances that they were living during this time period. It, it would be an impossible study to conduct. But, but it's not just a study that was conducted in Texas. They've studied it in other countries, in Japan and, and all of these countries. And they're suggesting that lithium, yes, they're all coming out saying, it's good, it's good, it's good. Well, we may very well have lithium in our water already. But you just have to continue doing some research to find out that the studies that say it's beneficial and this uh, New York Times article are saying that lithium protects the neurons in one's brain and reduces dementia. Really? Okay. Well, other studies say that there are neurological side effects of lithium, organic brain syndrome, seizures. Uh, lithium has both cortical and subcortical effects on the central nervous system. 36.8% of young adult psychiatric patients show neurological abnormalities. They can very easily, because lithium patients, they have to get blood tests every month. Because even if they're, they're taking the prescribed dose, they can fall into a lithium-induced neurotoxicity. And that can be fatal. Um, Rats treated with lithium produce sustained limbic seizures, widespread brain damage. Peter Bregan, if you are on psychiatric medications and you don't know how dangerous they are, if you're thinking about getting some psychiatric medication because you're not feeling well, or, or if you are thinking about putting your children on psychiatric medications, I hope you read this and do further research. Peter Bregan, Harvard-trained psychiatrist, he has been at the forefront for decades, screaming about the dangers of psychiatric medications, all of them, all of them. Psychiatric drug-induced chronic brain impairment. And yes, lithium is included. Um, Peter Bregan has a website. Are all psychiatric drugs too unsafe to take? Yes. You know, Peter Bregan, an expert, a psychiatrist, a man who has written many books, loaded with end notes, loaded with references, loaded with references, th these um, citing studies. An expert who has been called to testify in court cases. So who are you going to believe? Peter Bregan? Or are you going to believe Anna Fells of the New York Times? Well, if you have working brain cells and have breathed in too much lithium, you would say I think I should be listening to Peter Bregan. These are brain disabling drugs. The chemical imbalance that you've been told you have, 
is a complete and utter lie. These psychiatric medications cause the brain imbalance. Now, he just does a little synopsis on this page of the dangers of all psychiatric medications and uh, goes through categories, atypical antipsychotics, um, antipsychotics, antidepressants, but also lithium. Lithium is the oldest and hence most thoroughly studied. It causes permanent memory and mental dysfunction, including depression and an overall decline in neurological function and quality of life. It can result in severe neurological dilapidation with dementia. But these studies are claiming that, hey, lithium may cut dementia. Drink it up. No, lithium has been known to be linked to dementia. A uh, disastrous adverse drug effect called syndrome of irreversible lithium effectuated neurotoxicity or silent. Long-term lithium exposure also causes severe skin disorders. Huh, skin disorders. Well, those warnings in those articles. Care is required to handle lithium because it is highly reactive. Warnings are do not touch, wear gloves, put on goggles. Put on goggles. And we're walking around in an atmosphere that may very well be loaded with lithium. And that lithium is getting into our eyes, getting onto our skin, causing skin disorders and kidney failure and hypothyroidism. Withdrawal from lithium can cause manic like episodes and psychosis. You know, the other thing that I want to say is that there were so many comments underneath that lithium video. People talking about, oh my God, I have these symptoms. So I'm going to read this again. The common symptoms, restlessness, loss of appetite, weight gain, weight loss, stomach pain, gas, constipation, indigestion. You know, and I had a comment from a subscriber who talked about gastrointestinal problems. Mild thirst, dry mouth, excessive saliva in mouth, change in the ability to taste food, swollen lips, acne, hair loss, extreme discomfort and cold temperatures, depression, muscle or joint pain, itching or rash, thin, brittle fingernails or hair, hand movements that are difficult to control. And don't take it while pregnant and pregnant women are breathing it, maybe drinking it. Serious side effects, excessive thirst or sweating, sweating, um, sweating, excessive urination, fever, unusual fatigue or weakness, slow jerky movements or movements that are difficult to control, frequent urination, blackouts, fainting, seizures, dizziness or lightheadedness, shortness of breath, fast, slow, irregular or pounding heartbeat, chest tightness, confusion or hallucinations, crossed eyes, headache, pounding inside of head, swelling of the feet, ankles or lower legs, painful, cold or discolored fingers and toes, drowsiness, diarrhea, vomiting, slurred speech, shaky, shaking of a part of the body that you can't control, Muscle weakness, stiffness, twitching, tightness, ringing in ears, blurred vision, gizzy, g giddiness, and loss of coordination. And I'm just going to leave you with this. You know what? Trump sent more troops to Afghanistan. Lithium deposits are few and in particular areas of the world. There is a large, large lithium deposit in Afghanistan in a particular province of Afghanistan where Trump sent more troops. Yes, we go into countries, we kill innocent people, we destroy their cities, their towns, their livelihoods, we kill their children, and it's all 
to protect us over here? Really? No. It's to occupy those countries, take them over, and steal their resources. And one of the resources that is being stolen in Afghanistan is lithium. And lithium also uh, is it's a good conductor of heat and electricity. Hmm. It's used often in coolants for heat transfer, for um, transfer applications. It's flammable, highly flammable. And it is very difficult to put out lithium fires. California come to mind? Yeah, guys, I'm seeing more and more pink in our skies here. We are on toxic overload. Don't stop doing everything that you possibly can to increase your immune system and, and try to keep your good health. But based on the comments that I'm reading, based on hearing from many of you. I know a lot of you are doing everything that you can and you're still feeling like hell. Well, that's what happens when you're at war.